Okay, so this is my absolute favorite. I am insanely passionate about this one topic here. Augmented reality is essentially when you take something fake and digital, for example, and you overlay it over something real. Uh, so a Snapchat filter is an example of augmented reality. You, know, you do a little selfie and you can all of a sudden see that your face looks like a deer or a bear or a skeleton or something like that. It's taking the reality, which is of course your face, and then it's overlaying something fun, you know, digital and fake over the top of it. Um, furthermore, really augmented reality is any time you can take your current environment and allow something digital to play off of that in some way. Pokemon Go is a game that is based on augmented reality. People walk around with their phones and they're looking at their current environment, but then they see a Pokemon on there and they try to catch it or whatnot. So those are two examples of augmented reality. So augmented reality advertising is essentially using augmented reality to help promote your business, whether it be via branding or if you have a goal to, uh, you know, for more clients or subscriptions or sales. It's mostly right now going to be for B to C. Um, there are going to be some B to B applications, obviously, but B to C is the big player. So I'll give you an example of what could be a really cool augmented reality ad. So let's say the New York Times wanted to put an augmented augmented reality advertisement on their website. And the whole purpose of augmented reality ads is engaging. You see, the problem is you have display advertising, which is banner ads and things like that. But we've been seeing them for so long that we're completely desensitized to them. No one pays attention to them anymore. So the conversion rates are really, really small. But imagine that you're scrolling through on a website and there's this square ad in the middle and it has the cover of New York Times and you're scrolling and it says click here to be on the cover of the New York Times. Well that's pretty cool, so you click on it. Now it activates your front facing camera, whether it be on your phone or on your laptop or on your desktop and now you see your face inside the New York Times newspaper. And then you can you know, take a screenshot, take a picture of it, you can share it on social media. So this would be a really brilliant ad for New York Times because it really creates engagement. Now that's something you're not only gonna remember, but you can share it. Nobody shares ads. And in fact, the Super Bowl ads are probably the only things that people consistently talk about. And we have to wait a whole year to see these things, right? And even then, maybe one out of 10 are the really funny ones or the ones that people uh, remember and are engaging. So augmented reality is going to be in everything, period. And advertising is going to make it go around because that's what's going to drive the money. So augmented reality advertising is something you have to do. If you haven't done it yet and it's very early in it, start thinking about it now. There are not going to be many people or firms that specialize in this. This is a very niche offering and we are one of them and we plan on being the biggest, which is very ambitious, but I think we can do it. So if you are interested in it, if you want to learn more about it, let us know. We'll talk to you about it. Technology is easier and the benefits are way better. You are the worst. <laughs>